Here's one. I actually don't know if I'm supposed to touch these. Oh, it's magnetic. Oh, God. Okay. Hello. I was going to shell out a lot of money to have the speakers replaced in the front of the Sprinter van, the two dash speakers. Uh, the ones that came with the van are kind of shitty and they started to blow out listening to really like low sounds. I was gonna go to anywhere and get them replaced uh, and then I looked online and found out that it's actually really easy and I could totally do it myself. So this is the process of how I replaced the two dash speakers. This is specifically for the 2006 Dodge Sprinter van. So today I'm gonna be replacing the front speaker which is right here. I have my speaker here with me. It's the Pioneer TSG1045R. Um, the front speakers in the 2006 Dodge Sprinter van have um, their four inches and their low profile. So replacing these speakers cost me about 50 bucks just for the speakers and it took me about 30 minutes. So it didn't take very long. It was totally worth it. The first thing you have to do is take off the covering for the wiring near the door of the van. All right, so I'm basically just gonna attempt to take this off now. From what I have heard, it's just a few clips. All right, well that's not supposed to happen, but it's fine. Um, and this should just pop off. All right, so that was really easy. There's the whole piece with a spider on it. And then you just pull off the speaker cover panel. And it should just pop right out. According to the internet. There it is. Okay. The factory <laughs> speaker looks like a sad pancake, but that also just pops right out. I used a screwdriver to pry out part of it. Looks like it's attached with a couple wires. These two wires, I think, actually came in the packaging, so I'm assuming I have to connect those. Um, and then there's a clip right there. Here's the speaker. Comes out in this nice little styrofoam packaging. So here's one. Here's the other. Doo -doo -doo. It comes with an instruction manual, and it also comes with cables and some screws. So the guys at Best Buy told me this would work. We will see. The speakers that I got were from Pioneer, um, and I will link in the description to the ones that I used, so if you want to do this yourself, buy them there. And then it's just a matter of connecting the two wires to the ports on the side of the speaker. Right here, there are these two little tabs. This one's wider than that one. In my van, at least, they're, um, the two wires come with connectors. That wide one goes to there, and that skinny one goes to there. I basically had to just crimp these down. They don't fit snugly, so I just took a pair of pliers and crunched down the ends of the wires so that we go over it. I'm doing all this on my own and I have no background in electrical or anything, but um, one of the things I noticed is that the speaker on the driver's side has a little plug and then the speaker on the passenger side does not. This side only has one spot for these wires to go. The other one had this little plug on it as well as where these uh, wires connect. I don't know why this is. If you do, please let me know down in the comments. Pro tip, bend off the tabs that are on the side of the speaker. So on these new speakers, there's these tabs right here, which don't fit um, in that space. So um, I'm actually gonna bend these off. Boom, done, easy. Ta-da! So you kind of have to wiggle it around once you get everything in there so it'll sit flush. And now, you should just be able to... Oh, come on. Don't do that. Okay, it turns out you need both hands to snap that back in. But there are just little um, snaps along the edge. You just kind of have to snap in. We're gonna see what happens. It's plugged in, installed. It's not quite sitting right, but I'm just gonna see what happens when I turn on the radio. Needs to breathe. It's working. I'm Kelly Caldwell. Yeah. And if you remember English class. 
And then for the final step, you just need to snap that piece back in and you're done. And so far the speaker quality has been awesome. No problems, it sounds really good. I would totally recommend doing this yourself because paying someone 100 to 200 bucks is kind of ridiculous. It took me 30 minutes, it was super easy. Um, yeah, so do it yourself. And it was kind of fun, you know? Fixing something on your van makes you feel good, like you can do it, so yeah. Empower yourself, fix your own van. Uh, follow me on Instagram at One Chick Travels. Follow me on Facebook at One Chick Travels. Go to my website at onechicktravels.com and throw a wrench into things. Go to my Twitter, which is Kaya Says. And um, I'll see you next time. Bye.